The professional side of how when you went into being the business business person and dealing with other businesses, raising money for businesses, capital, I mean, that all plays into the mentality I said, may not be a millionaire, but I can sit at the table because I know what you what you want. <laughs> Well, I mean, absolutely. On the on the business side of things, you know, the first thing you got to do is uh, you you, you got to have people who like you because if they don't like you, they're not going to do business with you. And I play a ton of golf, but if I can have a business person with me on a golf course, I learn so much about them. I'm not looking at their golf swing. I'm not looking at how they put. What I'm trying to see is, is this the type of person that I want to enter into a business relationship with that's going to be for 10, 15, 20 years, you know? So I, I, I do that. And then when I talk to these kids, you know, as far as my, my business is, I've kind of evolved to where I do more consulting now, uh, sharing like you, than I do uh, any of the backbreaking work. You know, I've kind of uh, formed my company to be as such. So, uh, but what I try to do with these athletes is I'm trying my best to help them to break this cycle because we have an 80% uh, a rate of athletes that are broke after they dribble their last dribble, they yeah. pass their last ball, catch their last ball, hit their last home run, whatever it is. 80% of us would be broke. But, you know, the, the income is going up for these guys, but that statistic is not coming down. Yeah. And 85% of them end up divorced. So you have the whole divorce mechanism which also leads into the 80% of you being uh, a bankrupt, you know? So first you have to get them to marry the right person and, and they got to understand, don't enter into these relationship because her, her blue jeans look good at, you know, that night you met her at the club, you know, come on now, I know. you know, you, you go out and you make 250 million, you got to give uncle Sam his cut. But if she takes half of that, what do you have? Plus alimony and child support, you know? So, so I try to teach these guys as much as many as I can how to also run their business life outside of their personal and basketball life because they're all they all go together. If you're missing, if any one of those links are missing out, you're 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 you're, you're not a whole person, you know. Yeah. If you're a bad person and you got your wife at home, two girls on the road, mm, that's not going to end well. You know, so I, I try to help these guys. I try to uh, consult with them. I, I like working with their agents, their financial advisors. Uh, and also, I love working with their parents and the girlfriends. Yeah. You know, just so um, it, it's a team effort. Yeah. You cannot be in a team environment and then your home life is going to be an individual and solo. No, no, no. That's a team effort, too. Everybody's got to be on the same page. Mm -hmm. you, you don't know how many, Sharon. You don't know how many parents and their kids, after they make it, they become estranged from each other, be all because of money. Yep. 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 <laughs> it's a lot of them. Yep. Yep. And then, and so if if I can go in and I can and I can show them and talk to them and help them and help them have a successful life when they cannot play anymore, I've done my job. I think you hit it on the head. Yay. <laughs> I think you hit on the head perfectly because I feel like you're in a you well, I know you're in a unique situation, have played the game, you have a son playing, and you also trying to tell guys about business and finances. It's kind of like, you know, we talked to uh, Kelly Oubre Sr. and Kelly Oubre Jr., you know, plays the Warriors. And I want to ask you if it's the same situation on most mentality wise. He was like, look. I make all these decisions. I talk to them about this. I meet with the financial advisor. I meet with the agents. I'm hands-on with everything. Are you like that with Jay because you understand what's going on and you want to make sure that you and your family stay intact and that he saves his finances? Well, first of all, I don't make that decision to be involved with Jay. Mm -hmm. He asked me to take on these different roles. OK, yeah. so uh, again, you remember, if we if you go back and if I push my kids to do something, they're doing it for me. If I if he's an adult that I need to treat him as such, mm -hmm. then he's an adult. These are his finances. This is his bank account. 
that's his agent, and these are all his things that he's doing. So I can't interject myself into those things unless he wants me to be there. And I think he wants me to be there because if he asks me to do something that's very um, private, number one, that's, that's, that's going to be mm-hmm. something that's very, very important, then when it needs to get done and it needs to get done the right way, he knows that I'll do that. <laughs>